Yeah, so here we are at Mount Panorama. Um, we are here for the 12 hour of Bathurst. I'm Wolfgang Rip, uh, Nissan GT Academy racing driver. Uh, we've been here last year, but we had kind of a little uh, problem on the track. So uh, we're really excited to be here again to, to get a good result. My name is Fern Strauss. I'm GT Academy winner from Germany 2013. And uh, hope you will show me a lap around Bathurst. So let's go. Here we are in the pit straight, as you see. Quite famous. Huh? <laughs> Turn one. Left and drive. Corner. You can take the exit curb, there are no problem. No problem. So Just the, you take all the, the runoff? The, the, yeah, you can. And they repaint it. So maybe you need to be careful the first few laps. Maybe a little bit slippery. Okay. Here we arrive to the boss. <laughs> Let's massive see. straight. Le yeah, it's massive straight. Let's see when, what you're gonna see. We are doing a, a filming lap. A lot of filming going on. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Just saying hello. Well, well, you race, race car drivers, are you? Yes, we are. We, we are driving this weekend, so uh, we are doing... Well, at least uh, you're through today, but tomorrow you've got to have a pass, alright? Alright, thank you very much. That's perfect. Thank you. So, it doesn't look like, but just after the crest, it's dropping quite a lot and uh, you really feel it in, in your stomach it's a fun, funny feeling the, you get very light yeah it's nice it's really nice something very interesting also and surprising it's you are driving between people's gardens it's true in the beginning it was just a house on the right yeah there are houses everywhere but a little bit further and as you see uh, this is a very impressive braking zone because you are facing the wall and uh, it's quite unusual, uh, it never happens and arriving so fast and braking after 100 meter um, you, get, you have to get used to it huh? yeah, you need to be brave and you really don't want to have any braking <laughs> issue it's really incredible to be here because uh, I've been watching so many V8 races and playing on simulator yeah quite done lots of laps on the sim yeah. but it's always like in real you never feel it this corner is really impressive too because it's as you see completely blind even when you arrive from the right and uh, I, I wouldn't say it's a difficult corner but the problem is the next one if you take this one too fast it's easy to break yourself for this one and uh, it's much slower but it's cumbered as well so actually you have extra grip and uh, it's... As long as you get the car to the inside. As long as you do, yeah. Be careful here, um, the car gets very oversteering. On the exit, so it's not oh, Entry. Entry and well. exit, both. Yeah. This one... This one should be flat. You, you can a little bit see it, but there is a bump here. And this may cause a little bit of uh, oversteer, so you need to be careful. And also, um, this wall comes to you extremely fast. Here, it's definitely for me the the best part of the track. It's the the triple left. It's so fast. The the first one is kind of flat. Kind then, of flat. The one is flat. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> but the next one, it's a lift. It's a lift. But so just a lift, no braking? No braking. And here it's all over 200k. Yeah. So it's really impressive. And of course, the last one, uh, always difficult to choose between fourth or fifth gear. Um, the outside curb is quite high. So it's not dangerous, but you don't need it really. You don't need it. Here, of course, it's super impressive because you arrive at 230 and you need around here to brake a little bit then you release the brake and you go for exactly. the apex and then yeah it's kind of you you slow down but step by step one gear so for it's, each it's not hard braking here really no it's, it's just not so hard keep them, yeah. keep the momentum and let it roll and here you can take all the curb 
Yeah, I'm here joining early. Very early. Keep inside. And here it's incredible this part. It's so the rhythm it's just insane. It's left, right, left, right, left, right. For uh, the concentration and the mind it's very difficult. Do you compromise your exit here and stay all the way to the right? Yeah, yeah, you stay all the way to the right. Uh, two two thirds, let's say. Yeah. And we go for the big massive straight. So when you arrive here, you think, wow, <laughs> this is a big elevation. It you is, don't yeah. expect that on, on TV. Yeah, and you it's would really think it's, 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 it's a straight, so no problem, easy. But <laughs> actually the straight is like this. Yeah. So the car doesn't go straight, you need to keep it straight. It's like a north where you really have to yeah. hold the steering yeah, wheel yeah, yeah, tight yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. This, this corner is really nice. Not, not scary because it's easy flat, but here it's a very big braking, big, big, big braking. So the the right here it's more difficult than than you would think because here it's all easy flat. So you think okay, 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 no problem, and and then suddenly it's tighter at the end, and suddenly you arrive to the exit curb, and sometimes it's it arrives so fast that you you lift. Okay, so what did you then? You compromise your exit out of the chicane and try to have a later apex? No, you just need to remember. You, you can take the apex straight away of the ride, but you just need to remember to be aware that the exit is tighter than it looks. Yeah. The last corner, the, the curb, the exit, it's slower than you would expect, and uh, the second gear corner is so really slow. And this curb, you don't want to take it really. Uh, at least you can take it, but not to the end, because it's a big drop, and you lose maybe half a tenth. And that was a lap. What do you think? It's massive. Uh, yeah, first impressions from the lap. It's just great. The elevation is uh, bigger than I expected at <laughs> most of the tracks. So. <laughs> will be quite uh, exciting to go out on Friday and do your first laps. I think there will be a lot going on in my body, feeling... Yes, for sure. Track, but... you, you know what I mean when I say that, honestly, for me, this impresses me more than the Nordschleife. It's, yeah, it's shorter, but I'm more <gasps> when I drive here yeah, than on Nordschleife. With the closed walls, you know, yeah. on Nordschleife you have that one meter to the barrier, but you just have the wall next to you. Yeah, and also uh, on Nordschleife, most of the time you can see yeah. quite far. Here you don't see anything. Corners are it's arriving true. at you, so... Almost half the track is almost every corner. It's just blind, blind yeah. yeah. 